I'm Olga Haya, and thanks so much for joining me for another video where we talk about everything skincare and beauty. Today I wanted to talk about the five things you need to know when buying a facial cleanser. When buying any skincare product, it's important to know your skin type. Now there are five primary skin types and they are oily, dry, normal, combination, and sensitive. Chances are you probably already know your skin type, but I will go through them briefly. If you have oily skin, your skin naturally produces excess oil. You probably can see it throughout the day and feel it to touch. Oily skin is prone to acne because of the excess amounts of oil that is created in your pores, and because of that, your pores may appear larger. The good thing about oily skin is that you are less likely to see signs of aging such as fine lines and wrinkles. For those of us with oily skin types, you want to look for facial cleansers that are oil-free, more acidic, and possibly foaming. The thing to remember is that you don't want to over dry your skin because your skin will just compensate by creating even more oils, which you don't want. The objective here is not to dry your skin out, but just give it a good cleanse. If you have dry skin, you can probably tell because your skin feels dry and tight. Dry skin is more prone to aging and you are likely to see signs of wrinkles and fine lines earlier in life. The key with dry skin is to always keep it moisturized and hydrated. Now when you're looking for facial cleansers, look for cleansers that are gel based or milky. The next skin type is normal. Normal skin is neither excessively dry or excessively oily. This is probably where most of us want to be and it really is the prime skin type to have because you're a good fit for most products out there. The next skin type is combination. As the name would imply, if you have combination skin, you probably have a mix of different skin types. Often what happens is you could have a normal skin type throughout the majority of your face but have a really oily t-zone. On the other side, you could have a normal skin type and have dry patches in random places on your face. For combination skin types, you want to choose products that would treat your problem areas. So if you have places on your face that are more oily, choose products that would deal with those areas. And likewise, if you have places that are dry, choose more moisturizing and gel-based products. And lastly, sensitive skin is the fifth primary skin type. If you have sensitive skin, your skin likely gets very red with basic skin care and is also prone to allergies. With sensitive skin, it's very important to limit the amount of times you wash your face per day. I would try to go with one, no more than two, and obviously opt for very, very gentle skincare products. Also consider the changes that your skin might go through with each season. So if you have normal skin type, in the winter it's likely to get drier. Likewise, if you have oily skin type, it's likely to kind of normalize and become more of a normal skin type during the winter season. The second thing to know when buying a facial cleanser is your skin's needs. Not all facial cleansers are created equal and not all of them serve the same function. There are cleansers that are very mild and gentle and that will not remove your makeup and there are ones that are really harsh that are formulated specifically to break down a lot of the makeup products that we might use throughout the day. It's very important to know which type of skin cleanser you need. For those of us that like to wear makeup, like myself, it's probably a good idea to have two different skin cleansers, one for the morning that is more gentle and soothing, and one for the evening that is stronger and can break down some of the makeup products that we wear. It's important to read the product claims. They will specifically say that they are formulated to remove all makeup as well as dirt, oil, and all the grime that we accumulate throughout the day. Tip number three is to not be swayed by big brand names or high prices. More expensive products don't always translate to better quality. Oftentimes, ingredients that are marketed as rare and expensive are just glamorized versions of common ingredients that may be found in cheaper, more affordable products. For more information on this, be sure to check out a great article in Haya on how brands trick you into buying more expensive products. Also, the popular common brand names that we're all used to seeing may not have the best products. Just because we're familiar with the brand name doesn't mean that they will have the best facial cleanser. There are big companies that release a myriad of products and while some may be good, others might not be. 
it's important to consider a lot of other things when purchasing a facial cleanser, which leads me into my next point. Know your basic ingredients. I know this can get very complicated, and while I agree that it's impossible to know all the ingredients that are listed on our products, it is important to know the main ones. Generally, you want to look for products that contain your antioxidants. Antioxidants are your amino acids, vitamins A, C, and E. Also, some other great ingredients are glycerin and aloe. The main ingredients that you want to try to avoid are sulfates, fragrances, and alcohol. To be more specific, if you have oily skin type, be sure to look for facial cleansers that contain glycolic and salicylic acid. Those will help you combat the excess oil production in your skin. If you have dry skin, be sure to look for facial cleansers that contain glycerin and oils. Oils such as jojoba, hemp seed, or rose hip are really great for dry, dehydrated skin. If you have sensitive skin, generally the less ingredients your facial cleanser has, the better. But you do want to look for those that contain aloe, chamomile, and green tea. They are great ingredients that will soothe your skin. Tip number five to purchasing a facial cleanser is to do your research. Before you purchase any product that you might have in mind, go online and read the product reviews. A lot of the review sites have profiles for the person that is writing the review that tells you their age, their skin type, so that could really be a great tool for you to gauge whether this particular product will be a good fit for you. I also wanted to give some facial cleanser options for each individual skin type. These are the products that I found to have the greatest reviews that also have better ingredients than other ones that could be found in the drugstores. For oily skins, try the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. Boots number no. 7 Beautiful Skin Foaming Cleanser is a great option, as well as Olay Foaming Face Wash for combination and oily skin. For dry skin, you might want to consider the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser or the Aveeno Ultra Calming Foaming Cleanser. Again, if you have normal skin, you'll likely be okay with most of the products that you choose as long as they have more of the good ingredients that I mentioned earlier. For sensitive skin, Aveeno Ultra Calming Foaming Cleanser seems to be a great option, as well as the Garnier Clean and Makeup Removing Lotion Cleanser. And lastly, before I end this video, I wanted to give you some general tips for washing your skin. The first one is to use your fingertips as opposed to your palms to wash your face. This ensures that you don't apply too much pressure and that you're very gentle with your skin. Be sure to always use warm water as opposed to really hot or really cold. Hot water dries you out, cold water closes your pores, so you want to be sure to keep your water just nice and warm. After you wash your face, instead of rubbing your skin dry with a towel, just pat it very gently. This ensures that you don't take all the moisture out and that again, you're very gentle with your skin. And lastly, apply your moisturizer immediately after washing your skin. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please join us again next time for more videos about everything skincare and beauty. And if you want to be notified every time there is a new video, please subscribe to Haya on YouTube.